Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the VUCA Times. This is their smart Wi-Fi digital picture frame. This is the V10 version, 10 inches diagonal display. Comes with a quick start guide. The unit itself, an AC adapter with a plug on the end that fits the unit and a remote. The remote communicates to the left top part of this frame right here. There is two little boxes there. So that is the infrared sensor there. We're gonna talk about what that is later on. On the remote, make sure that you do remove the tab on, that, on the battery compartment uh, on the side right there because that will prevent the unit from working. So remove that plastic tab. Also included is this plug-in tail piece that holds the unit up vertically. And this is the first time I've ever seen this. This is pretty unique. It plugs into the back right here. It only goes in one way. You rotate it clockwise, just like that. And then it allows the unit to stand perfectly. And very clever because it allows you to plug the power right into the connector right there. And that's how you power the unit, just like that. Never seen that before, very nice. On the back of the unit, there is a speaker right there and a speaker right there, producing stereo sound. So if you wanna have music to your slides or you wanna have video being played, the sound does come on the unit. We're gonna demonstrate that. In addition to the user guide, it has a contact card. Talks, talks about uh, how to contact the company. If you're happy or not happy with the product, you can reach them right there. They have information right there. And you could also have your warranty activated and uh, using this scanner right here. So I am going to power this unit up and give it a try and show you how to get your photos on here from your mobile phone device. So here I'm powering it for the first time. I have batteries in the remote. I pulled the plastic tab out of the remote. You can set the time zone, language, 24 format. Motion sensor can be turned on so that you see pictures when you go near the sensor right there. Let's look at the Wi-Fi right here. So there's a lock symbol on there. So it's asking me to enter in the password. Okay, so I put the password in and now it's doing something, hopefully connecting to my Wi-Fi, which is in my basement. And there it says it's connected right there. So I've downloaded the app, Will Photo. So I'm gonna open this up. Please follow the instructions. This in frame asks the frame owner for an invitation code. So there is the invitation code there that's on my screen. Once you get the message bind successful after you go through this process, to verify that it's connected, you can click the My tab at the bottom and click Connected Frames and you'll see there the default name is Home Illinois or whatever state you're in. This view is a preview pane so you can tap on these different pictures to get a larger preview. Now we're going to go ahead and send them to the device. So I'm going to click this multi-select button and I'm going to tap the ones that I want. You can only choose up to 10. Okay, so you're choosing then you hit, hit next. next. We're going to choose home and it'll say it's online and then hit next once more. I don't care about writing captions, I'm just going to send them. So that should have sent them. But now the history tab shows ongoing deliveries and you can see that it's doing what I just checked. It says, okay, it's done, it sent them. So when you're looking at your photos, you can hide them and the little symbol is the eye right there and you see you can have those ones hidden 
and that way they won't show this particular picture. So now that's what we sent from that app. Let's go back to home right here. And now uh, we could uh, go to gallery, back to gallery, and we could pick the individual pictures and show them on the screen right there. And then I hit the next button. Now you notice that it's overloading the screen with the image. So it's cutting off the head on some of the pictures. So let's figure out what that is. We go back to the settings right here. And I have that one setting. So if you go here to display slide, slideshow and right here fill frame. Let's turn that off. So now I turn fill frame off. Now let's go back to the home right there. And now we should be able to go to the gallery again. There. Now you notice that it's showing the pictures in the right scale. Now this can also show video if you put a video file in that shared folder and we'll see if we'll try that next. But there's the pictures that we uploaded and uh, they're not scaled up anymore so you can see they're the right aspect ratio and that looks nice. And the display has a nice image to it, very bright. So I want to point out that I have my phone here and I have it connected to my PC and once you get connected you have uh, the file structure comes up and then you have all the different files there now there is one that's called DCIM and that's the one that's going to have your pictures and video and then you, I have got the camera on there and there's where I have all those pictures that you saw go on the frame and I'm going to drop a video in there and we're going to test that next but that's how you get your pictures on your phone in this case this is a Nexus 6 and your phone might be different but typically they're in the DCIM directory and then in your camera so it's actually doing a slideshow uh, as long as I don't advance it, you can see, and you see how it's based on that 10 seconds, and you could change that time, you can increase it, but right now it's set to 10 seconds, and that settings menu would allow you to change that. Let's say you want it to be 20, 30 seconds per picture. You can go into that settings menu, let's go to home, and let's go to settings, and... Let's go to display and, and slideshow and timer right here. And you see it's five seconds. Now let's put it to 30 seconds. Now it should be going for 30 seconds because I set it to 30 seconds using the remote and the settings. So you see how long it's taking per picture. Another thing to note is that the quality of the picture you put into it is what's going to be displayed. Uh, so if it's an older picture like this and you know it's average quality, it's going to show that. There is a minimal pixel size you want for pictures like that. You can see is clearer on there. So, not, so there I showed you how to do the timer. There is an option to have captions on there. We could have put captions on the app. And then you have the fill frame which I turned off and you forward display order you can have it by date so you can put dates on your photos and it'll go in that order and here you have a brightness level and we could adjust that using the remote make it a little brighter a little darker I mean what you want then you have notification volume that's set to default to that one right there then you have auto play and that is turned on for your playback you have an option there uh, play once or loop. So let's just put it on loop so that it loops those pictures. Playback audio. We can leave that uh, leave that enabled so that we can have audio. We're going to try some video on here. 
then there's the video volume. Now uh, we're going to try a video on here and see if it'll play Windows Media. Now we can go back now to home and it should go now I put it back to uh, 10 seconds I believe so now it's going to go to 10 seconds and do the slideshow and because I told it to loop it should loop and of course anytime you want to advance the pictures you could hit the now let's try one more thing let's go back to the home screen and go to settings and let's move down and you see where it says motion sensor I'm using the remote again points to the left side of the screen so motion sensor is off or three minutes five minutes 15 minutes so you could turn motion sensing off, so I was standing here in front of the screen, so it was being triggered, or three minutes, and what that means is that it'll stay on the screen for three minutes after it detects motion. And the little motion sensor is right there, right below the sensor for the remote. So that's nice, that means you could have this playing pictures and then it'll shut itself down and then if you walk by the sensor will get triggered and it'll stay on for three minutes going through playing videos or pictures that's a nice feature it has the app allows you to preview photos as well as videos which is nice so that you can see a preview of them Hit that button right there and you can play the, the videos that are on your phone that you upload. You can do a preview on your app phone using the app. So here's the second video right there that I sent from my phone. And again you've got volume up and volume down. Very nice image. So what's more of all impression about the VUCA Times, their smart Wi-Fi digital picture frame. This is the V10 model. Take your time to learn the app because there's a learning curve to any app. But using this app worked. You just have to upload the pictures up to 10 at a time and name your frame. In this case it was called Home to tell me success and learn the device using their remote. The remote is set up pretty logically. I like that. And I like the stand, the way it is powered in the back like that. That's really unique. The display is really nice. You can change the angle and the color doesn't vary. And I like the way it's filling in the colors for vertical format, smaller, lower resolution pictures so that you end up with an interesting picture. You know, all the settings on her for the duration, the brightness, it's all there and video playback is there and the volume is there. So it has everything you need to have uploaded pictures from your family and friends with that invitation code using the Whale Photo app. You're going to be able to upload pictures and have other family members upload pictures. So I like this product. I'm gonna give it a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert you new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.